in Exeter. Let's find out if we can reach the third UK Open final in a row. Let's get the players on stage now with John. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We are about to find out who joins Gowen Price in the grand final as we now present the second semi final of the Coral UK Open that's coming to you live on ITV Sport from Butlins, Minehead. Time to meet the players. Ladies and gentlemen, a World Championship quarter finalist, a World Cup semi finalist. It's time to meet Super Jin, Daryl Gurney. A two-time UK Open finalist and a former world finalist. Who let's get this party started? the UK Open. Behind the mics for the second semi-final are Chris Mason and John Rawling. And Jackie, wasn't it lovely to see that atmosphere when they came into the hall here and the two of them dancing together up on the stage. There's a lot of friendship there. Yes, uh, there won't be much in about two minutes or so. Though. <laughs> but yes, being played in a, in a fabulous atmosphere. Peter Wright, a man in wonderful form. 110.88 he averaged in reaching this stage beating Raymond van Barneveld if he can replicate that he's going to take some beating averaged 119.5 in the Premier League last week and that one earlier on was his second highest average ever on TV Daryl Gurney 30 years old 16 years Peter Wright's junior and if he can get through, then he'd be certainly challenging to get in the world top 16. He was ranked 21 coming into this tournament. 
but he's shown a great deal of maturity reaching this stage and a good performance to beat a, a revitalized Simon Whitlock. Yes, that was some match. The one we've just seen was a absolute belter. There's no reason this one won't replicate that. We might, have, we might not have Michael Van Gerwen in the final, but we got Gerwin Price. There's a Gerwin there, one way or another. Who will he play? We don't have a Gurner, but we might have a Gurney. <laughs> 60. Peter Wright has been throwing really well, and uh, he's the hot favourite to win this one, and the favourite to lift the trophy, and despite the fact that he said earlier on in the 95. weekend that with Phil Taylor not here, and particularly with Michael Van Gerwen not here, he feels just a little bit as though He's winning the tournament potentially oh, by default. You know, kind of that's the way it works, isn't it? You know, you don't. Well, not with all he can do. Yeah, exactly. You only beat what's in front of you. And as you and as you said, in that exhibition uh, quite recently, when he averaged 130, trashing MVG. Yes. Well, just look at someone like James Wade. You know, in, in all of his majors, did he ever play Phil? Sure, I don't think so. But that doesn't take anything away whatsoever. How the cookie crumbles. Both could have gone out early. Who knows? Particularly in the tournament such as this. Just look at that view from the back of the auditorium. The crowd, the lights trained on the stage. Wonderful vantage points from every part of the hall. Well, it's a special venue for the for the fans. Two huge screens either side of the stage. 43. Peter, Peter right now with 141. That's the treble 20. Treble 19 next. Not in this time. Just checking where he's at. Just checking the score. Treble 10. Not Gurney on 127. Only one treble needed in this combination. Still do it. Treble 19 ball. Should be trouble 16 to leave tops. 46. Quite settled into it, yes. Uh, yep. Darrell, the Irishman. Peter Wright, 52 for 1-0. Double 16, you'd expect him to take this. Double 8. Hmm. Topple forward, I think, I think he thought it was in. It's certainly in now, right in the middle of the double 8. And first blood to Peter Wright. Celebrates his 47th birthday next Friday. What a nice birthday present this would be. Yeah, a nice little uh, 57. 70 grand in the uh, in the account. Were he to uh, were he to emerge victorious, 35 for the man placed second. Go with Price. Oh, that's his first maximum. First maximum of the match. Go with Price. That already represents the best payday of his career. Yeah, and a place in the Grand Slam. In November, oh, Wolverhampton. And a jump up the rankings. An extraordinary progression, Gerwin Price. Seventy three. Took up the, only took up the game relatively recently. Well, I was in Q School three years ago. Yeah, absolutely. And it's come storming up, storming up the rankings. He's got his dad here, and his dad was telling me that he went along and played for the uh, played played for the, at the rugby club where he where he was. He was per persuaded to go and have a have a game. From there he went on to the next village to play Super League and he said that he bumped into one of his mates in a boozer and he said, your lad's a bit of a good darts player, isn't he? And he said, what do you mean? He didn't even know that he played darts. He just thought he was going out for a pint with his mates. Natural talent. Absolutely. 100 finish. 94. Considering the circumstances. Only a little bit less epic than the 160. Well, Early was, on, that was unbelievable. The 160 against Ian White. 100. Are you about 52? Right. Gurney could do with this. Double 16 for 1-1. One, one. Good darts. That settles him down into the game. Bit of a slow burner so far. Yeah, both of them. First. Game score higher. I think it'll be a little bit of a potentially a little bit of a 
Kind of an aftershock from Peter Wright from having performed so brilliantly against Barney. Difficult to get up to that 60. level again. Yep, yep, you hit such a height. And of course, he would have gone back to his room and relaxed, and then it's all about winding it all back, back up again. But he's got so much experience in that area. First maximum for Peter Wright. He's been in the last two finals of this one, hasn't he? He has. So he understands fully what it takes and how to prepare. Both times beaten by Michael van Gerwen. Is it going to be another maximum? It is. That's six out of six. Come on, he says, as he walks back to the mark. 60. He did raise the roof the way he's throwing. It's not impossible. Oh, just over the wire. I left that one all to you to do on your own, John. 97. It still didn't happen. Well, he has, he has promised me one, Peter. He said, <laughs> he said, I will get you one. It is going to happen. And I take a man at face value unless I know otherwise. So a potential 11 dart leg. Double 16. In it goes. That's a really quality leg of darts from Peter Wright. And that's the sort of form he was throwing at Raymond van Barneveld, who again has thrown superbly in a match. It seems to happen to him again and again at the moment. He produced 108 average, over 108, and winds up beaten. Yes, he, uh, he tends to walk into a few, doesn't he? Another maximum for Wright. Sweet, in the last two legs. 23. With the darts, with the advantage. He hits them in practice with ridiculous regularity. Nine darts. And we said as probably uh, recognises it as a familiar mantra, but Peter Wright, one of those players who does work immensely hard at his game. As hard as anyone ever. to see him using the same set of darts for a while. 100. He's so happy with the setup and the feel of these ones. It just shows you how professional he is. He, he looks for any little bit of any margin whatsoever. Oh, he's gone tops, tops. Oh, just the wrong side 16. of the wire. No finish for Gurney. I'm surprised he went that way with Gurney not on a finish. So confident, isn't he? Yep. 97. Five major world finals. Three majors and two world series finals. He's lost he out in Peter Wright one. as he goes 3 1 up. All those losses to Michael van German, except against Phil Taylor in the World Series final in Japan. That was last year. First hold of throw in the match. World ranked number three behind van German and Gary Anderson, who was beaten by the qualifier, Paul Hogan. Gurney, you might notice wears a, a chain around his neck with a, a picture on it. The picture is of Aaron McMenamin, a young friend of his who lived in Derry, darts player, best friend, who died this year from cystic fibrosis. And the emotion that he showed after reaching this final, I think, was very much down to that in reaching this semi-final. Aaron, sister Brona, also died last year of the same condition. She was a, a well-known player in the Derry area, played for Derry City Ladies. 58. So if he gets through into the final, you can guarantee that it will be a very, very emotional progress for him.
as he'll in quite a tangible manner be dedicating I think his victory to the memory of his best mate great dart double 16 sorry John not this time break at the end of this leg this would hurt The 144. Oh, brilliant checkout! Superb, and that's the sort of form that he needs to produce to win this match and to move towards his first televised title. Peter Wright goes to the first break, leading 4-1. Welcome back to Minehead, semi-finals, and what a checkout that was from Peter Wright. He needed 144, and he got it. To take a 4-1 lead, that's his second best checkout of the weekend. He had 1-5-6 against Raymond van Barneveld, and that puts him into a very strong position as he tries to get to his eighth televised final. Came up short in the PDC Worlds, twice in the UK Open in Dubai, Dubai, in Japan, the World Series finals when they were played in Glasgow and then again last year in the World Series incidentally in the last 16 level when it, uh, stage when it was in Glasgow he faced Daryl Gurney, that was the only time they played on television and Peter won welter of stats Curtis courtesy of uh, Richard Ashdown and Dave Allen who has ever produced some uh, amazing statistical support for us as we battle through the matches here 57 It was an important checkout, that wasn't it? You could see what it meant to Peter Wright when he when he saw that double twelve go in. Yes, it was, a, it was a big moment and a wounding moment for Gurney. He missed double sixteen with that one dart. Some uh, like good darts from Daryl Gurney. His second maximum, fifth of the match. Extraordinary sights out there in the uh, auditorium as ever. Party time. Sometimes look at some of the grotesque outfits and think that the Italian director Federico Fellini might have liked darts if he'd seen it. <laughs> One dart tops for 5 1. 44. Oh, well, this is a must for Gurney. It's a race to 11, the semi finals. Oh, quality. A break of throw. Straight back at him. He had to do it. Had to strike back yep. promptly so and did so. To throw first. Game off. It's a long format, but 5 1. You can almost be pressing the panic button. You want to get, let right get away from you. Great front runner. He looks so relaxed, doesn't he? Hey! He does. <laughs> you stupid boy. Don't tell him your name, Pike. <laughs> 135.
140. Was, uh, yeah. Destined, Christopher. Yeah. Took a nasty little deflection. Needed to go that way. 19s in a trouble 20 would have left him 170. But holding on to throw. Needs a trouble to leave a finish. And gets it. 140. Pressure again on the Gurney throw. Gurney could do with a 140 himself. Yeah. A ton. Yeah, minimum 100. requirement, you sense. Here you require 161. In the last seven or so legs, six or seven legs against Whitlock. Gurney was averaging around 110, and he needs to find 65. something like that in this match to put a put a bit of a spell together. 19 for double 16 to hold. Ooh. 83. Now he knows that was a big miss because Wright can get the break of throw again now. Move three clear again. Could go double double. Yep, tops. Oh, oh wow. quality. <laughs> Gurney knew that when he hit that seven, missed the double, that it was potentially a painful mistake, and it proved to be so. Yeah, it used to be regarded as a bit of a bit of a show-off shot or an exhibition shot, but he had two clear targets to aim at. So why not? Makes total sense. And they're twice the size of a treble, so yeah, it makes it makes makes great sense. Gurney, number three, 180, sixth of the game. Great response. Averages are inching upwards, right over the ton, and Gurney thereabouts. Well, six 180s in this match so far. Both finishing well, right 63%, 5 from 8, Gurney 40%, 2 from 5. There we go. 134. Played last weekend in a match-up in Barnsley. Right won that 6-1, it was a semi-final, semi I think. Yes. He lost to Gary Anderson in the final. And what a final that was. Was it? Oh, it's incredible. I think uh, it was around about 114 points something average in the final, Gary Anderson. It's a joy to watch. 41. Now you require 85. Well, he went 19s for 14s. A double 12 now. 73, maybe you're 126. 126. 19s? Yep, 419s ball. Two trouble 19s to leave Gurney's shot. Yep, double six. For 6 2. 120. Did the hard work. Double six now for Gurney. Can he show him how to do it? For 5 3. Double three. Oh, good dart. Nobody oh, likes the doubles down the bottom of the board, and he slots it in. Unless, of course, no. you're about uh, 4 foot 10, as some are. Little Richard's favourite double. <laughs> We're not horribly heightist or <laughs> bullying him or Is that anything. even a thing? He calls himself Little Richard. I actually heard him yesterday introduce himself as, oh, I'm Little Richard. Sometimes when he's doing his uh, MCing, he walks on stage and gives it the loud, the large, uh, hi ho. <laughs> 140. Seven breaks of throw in eight legs so far. 140. A good response from Gurney to Wright's initial foray and that 140. But Wright's got the eye again. And following up with a 180 on the back of the 140. Average continues to increase. He's up over 102 now. Just fairly starting to press the old boost button. Oh, superb darts from Gurney. What a response. 
on the finish Wright's got no checkout Gurney might have to take it 105 now, this is important Chris 94. 94 Wright poised on 76 you want to close the gap ball 69 he requires 76 76 for Peter Wright for 6-3 He's missed it. 16 would leave tops. Oh, that is such a cool double. There's a look of certainty. That's why he's one of the best speed heart players in the world. A break at the end of this leg. Peter Wright with the darts. Great first start. Space to fill it up. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. His fifth maximum. Definitely cranked it up, hasn't he? Very much so. Good response. Oh, unlucky with the third. Deflected off the barrel. Just trying to put himself onto a finish here, right? Needs a treble. 60. Right to beat Gurney, the last four times they've played. 140. And that'll be in both of their minds. 130. Nice setup. It's been a year 60. since Gurney's beat Peter Gurney Wright. 40. Tops needed. Three out of five he's had here prior to this. He's well, there you go. Maybe Peter four Wright. out of seven because Peter Wright goes to the break. Progressing nicely. Wife Joe watching on admiringly. The crowd enjoying his progress. And he leads the Irishman, Daryl Gurney, seven legs to three. Peter Wright and Daryl Gurney battling for the right to be in the final against Gerwin Price, who's already produced a performance to reach his first televised final. Peter Wright going along nicely. He's 7 3 up, averaging over 102 and a checkout rate of 58%, which is significantly better than that of Gurney and as much as anything explaining why he is now seemingly in command of this semi-final yeah scoreline and averages uh can only play in a blinder himself 98.20 uh but just at 33 percent with another 25 percent on that and the averages would be even closer as would the scoreline 134. it's a nice way to come back from the break or a chance to regroup he's on a mission is Peter Wright and that's oh, another maximum no, his sixth no, really switched on isn't he came in in Irish colors 45. yesterday plenty of trickler action around and now he has the colors of the United States of America Donald Trump's a darts fan. I suppose we'd probably know about it by now. If he was, we'd have had a, a tweet or two. 140. Well, 
about Trump, but Barry Hearn's been making darts great for a few years now. Again. And the real star has emerged in Peter Wright over the last year or two. The crowd love him. Well, it all come with the, the change of image and different walk-on music and just seems to have changed him and, and his game. Double eight for eight three. Great camera shot there, you can see it. The angle he had to, to deal with, and to move along the hockey. It's a super performance, 12 dart leg, 104 average. 8 from 14 on his finishing. 94. Salute world class. Urgent Price is just ticking over in the practice room. Relaxing with his family. And anticipating his first final. What a moment that must be. Well, he's just got to throw as he always does, hasn't he? Yep. Rather than getting up there and thinking now I've got to, to play. crank yep. it up a level better, he's just got to go and do himself justice. Exactly. Anything is possible. Oh, Number seven. Oh, Great shot from his 130. Seven one eight is thirteen against Barnabas. No, possibly he'll have a similar 30. tally by the time he's finished here. Oh, he won't. He's only three legs away from a place in the final. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. I guess it, I guess we've got to see Gurney take some legs for that to happen. Yep, double five. 125. Oh, surprised. Uh, Trouble 17, double 16. What a saver this would be. 111. Just not happened for him in this semi final, is it? Five. It's Haley, his sister. One double two for Peter Wright for nine three. Good dart. Two legs away now. Shackle should be off here. He's uh he can just let his hands go. Relax. Well, he's averaging over a hundred, Chris, but yep. he's on the wrong end of a 100. pretty serious beating here at the moment. Fifty-seven. Sixty-five. Nice cover shots. Absolute must that Gurney holds his throw. Yep. 140. Needs to get out of this session. No worse than 9 6, really. 100. Now we're going 164. Well, he doesn't have to check it out. It's 40 scored, so 1 2 4 left. 100. Great nice recovery, time. wasn't it? Yeah, it was. 64. Routine for these guys, certainly in practice, in the context of this match. Maybe just looking a little bit more tricky, a little bit more problematical, because he'll be feeling he's got to get this. Yeah. And he'll be aware that Wright will fancy the 136. Tops. 24. Well, let's see how he, how he goes about it. To go within one. Another place in the final. Another one of those for double eight. Well, he said he'd fancy it. He certainly did. Heart in mouth time for Gurney. Good dart. Good dart. 
That's one back. Oh, wry smile. Game on. He's missed a few shots, hasn't he? So probably be feeling that oh, I can actually hit a double. 91. He's been a bit hard on himself. 33%. Most players would take one from three. 100. Lost 11-2 uh, to Michael Van Gerwen here in the players in 2015. This is the second major televised semi-final. 100. Celebrates his 31st birthday later this month. Coming into this match, he'd moved up to number 19 in the PDC rankings. One of the crop of good young players who've come through in the last year or two. Gerwin Price, of course, definitely. very much one of the others. Yeah, definitely top 16 material. Gurney. This is White. His fourth maximum. So for the break, double, double. thirteen. Oh, Very good break, time. good, uh, good check out. Yeah. Good. A much needed break of throw. Fifteen leg down to throw first. Game on. Throwing with much more freedom from nine three. He won't really be thinking about the comeback until it's probably nine seven nine eight ish. 60. Well, that's well, he said it was uh, a bit of a requirement if he's going to somehow find a t way of turning this round that he has to go to the break, which comes at the end of this leg. 9-6 down. And if he's to do that, he needs more than 60, which was his first visit. Better. Back in the red bit. 100. Flirting with danger. 180 is never too far away. And Peter Wright's throwing. The snake bite fans happy as he gets maximum number eight. 60. Uh, one of those legs, Gurney. We all have them. Well, the Gurney throw under massive pressure now. It's Peter Wright now. just <laughs> teeing it up. A little bit of a wobble and then right back on it. Suddenly finding that treble a little bit difficult to hit. Yeah. 81 then for 10 5. Six starts, that's it. Treble 18 for double 12. That's risky, that. 41. Tops left. Mm. I don't know really why he went the 57 route anyway. He should have gone for the ball. 25 on the left, 56, and 16 tops. Ball would have left 31, 15, double eight. 145. You can ask him afterwards. He won't even remember. <laughs> tops for right for 10 5. Double 10. Oh, one on the in. floor. No, he thought he was, he was in. <laughs> he was on his way up to pick it out. Missed the double ten, double five now. And uh, he kind of knew that was going to go in. Shake of his head. And Joe can't believe that it took him three to get it. But he got it. And uh, a little smile for you at home as he leaves the stage. He needs just one more now. Daryl Gurney needs something absolutely extraordinary and some sort of meltdown from Peter Wright. It doesn't look like happening because the hot favourite now for this title is leading in this semi-final by 10 lengths to 5.
Not got very long to go in this match now by the looks of it, because Peter Wright has the darts in his hand. He'll be the man who is throwing first in what could be the final Peter leg of the match. Game on. He leads 10-5, just one more leg needed, and he'd be into the final to play Gerwin Price. 140. What a moment that'll be for both players. One of them's going to break their duck. 100. Back to back turn 40s. Just what's required. He's looked so certain of himself up there. Yeah, it's just controlled. 57. Any, any pivotal moments he seems to be in, in control of. Still Nine averaging 10. 104. Gurney, a very respectable 100 average. Oh, just dipped under now. 57. Peter Wright beat Raymond Van Barneveld earlier on in the quarter-final if you've not been with us and now looks as though he's heading for a semi-final victory as well against Barney he averaged his second highest TV average 110.88 too little too late well, if it is his last throw it's a good one 46 double 16 for the match double eight Oh, well, Gurney has a perhaps unexpected opportunity. It's on. Double 18. Crowd would have given him a terrific ovation if he got that. They've warmed to the Irishman this weekend. In his mark, isn't he? Very much. Double two now for the match. No! <laughs> Bit of winning line jitters. Just been saying how he's controlled it. <laughs> his composure has been incredible the whole match. Gurney then for 10 6. Sister Haley there. Fingers crossed. Double nine. He's got to get this. No. How is that not gone in? Double two, split. Peter Wright. You won't want to split this and go inside. Marker should just drop on it. In we go. And Peter Wright is into the final once again. A televised final. And words of congratulations from Daryl Gurney. Peter Wright played very well at key moments, perhaps not hitting quite the levels that he did against Raymond Van Barneveld, but Gurney didn't press him quite as hard as Raymond did. Peter Wright, the favourite to win here in Minehead, into the final. He's enjoying it three in a row. He wants to get third time lucky and take this. It's his third final, but is he now going to win it? Gerwin Price stands in his way, but Peter Wright has accounted for the Irishman, Darrell Gurney, 11 legs to buy.